is Joey on his bed, and I wanted to answer a fan question I get a lot, which has to do with what Joey's cage looks like and what kind of cage should I get for my ferret. So, I wanted to start with the fact that ferrets are not cage pets. They actually should be out of their cage at least four hours a day. It's very important for their happiness. And if you can't provide that, you might want to rethink getting a ferret. It's confusing in the United States. I feel like a lot of the pet stores, they have their ferrets on display near the gerbils, the guinea pigs, the mice, all of these animals that do stay in a cage. And ferrets just don't do that. They need to be out and running around. If not, they'll get depressed. They'll tear up their cage, dig at the cage, throw their food around. <laughs> so it's a, a big deal. And Joey actually is out of the cage the majority of the day. He free roams in my house. So his cage is more like 1,200 square feet. <laughs> he is caged at night. And when I'm out of the house, because he has a tendency to jump off of things he shouldn't. As a baby, he actually broke his two back legs. So, for him, he must stay in a cage. <laughs> so, I have a ferret nation. I love this cage. It's the single unit. I would recommend, if your ferret is not going to free roam all day when you're home, that you get the double. There's one that's kind of like this, but another level on top. So, that would be my recommendation. I like this cage because it has doors that are ferret escape proof. He has never broken out of this. I don't know of any ferret that has broken out of one of these. And I think that a lot of the cages with the little doors that are like that big, ferrets can kind of push those and sometimes they can break out of cages like that. So just be careful when you select a cage that your ferret is not going to be able to figure it out <laughs> because they're very smart. And I like the big doors because it's easy to clean. I can clean this easily because <laughs> I'm not going to lie, he's not neat all the time. He's messy. And so food gets over here, litter gets everywhere. This can be taken out, all of these trays, and so it's just very convenient. So that's another reason I like it. I like it too because it's not super tall because Joey is a flight risk, <laughs> I like to say, because of his jumping. Um, this is not too tall. Some cages are really tall. And if you look down, like, at the highest point, and you can see a hole from the very top all the way to the bottom, you need to think that, oh, your ferret might fall from that. If your ferret's like Joey, you just be like, woohoo, and try to jump. I've heard of ferrets getting injured like that, so breaking bones and things. So if you do have a tall cage um, like that, you need to be sure you have hammocks and things in all of those holes so your ferret can't fall all the way from top all the way to the bottom. So... Another reason I like this cage is because it's just, on, it's on wheels, which is nice. I have storage, um, extra blankets, extra toys. Joey has this toy in here that he's had since he was a little baby. If you're going to put toys in the cage, make sure it doesn't have those hard plastic eyes, the nose that they can possibly chew on and ingest could cause a blockage. Um, ferrets. A year and under especially have a big chance of getting a blockage so you just have to really pay attention and make sure that your toys are safe I give him soft toys like this he doesn't chew and open them up and ingest batting so he's good I have other things in here like this little football it rattles it's hard plastic um, he would have a really hard time busting that open and hasn't in three and a half years so that's pretty good. Um, so what I have in his cage, I have a high back litter pan. Um, this works well for him because he likes all four feet in his litter box for whatever reason. I have um, these porcelain bowls and some, they do sell bowls that uh, attach to the side. So I recommend those if your ferret likes to spill a lot. <laughs> and Let's see, I have a hammock with a pocket so he can get down inside the pocket if he wants. And this big bed that he's been on while I've been doing my video. So I like to change up his cage just to make things interesting for him. I have 
This bed, it's a crinkle sack. It's got fleece down the inside. I'm gonna shut the blinds real quick. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've got this nice soft bed. It's um, fleece also and has some cushion in there. And then also, I have this little pretzel bin actually. And you'll see it's got a liner on the outside and then a fleece liner on the inside. So he likes to get down in there. And it's a good idea to change out your ferret's cage if you can, just to be different. Um, also, you need to wash bedding. I wash Joey's bedding like, I don't know, once a week to make sure that everything is clean. I'm a little bit of a clean freak. And let's see, anything else? Who's a good boy? Huh? So that is Joey's cage. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you have comments, please leave them in the comments section. And please, if you don't remember anything else, remember that ferrets do not stay in a cage all day. They need to get out. They need to play. Otherwise, you're going to have behavior problems. It's just not fair. They're not meant to be in a cage all the time. See? Joey's like, let me out, Mom. <laughs> Again, he's used to being out all day. So if you have... Oh, if you're in other countries and you know of a cage that is similar to this that you like and you recommend, please post it in the comments section. I would love to hear from you. All right, let's say bye, Joey. Goodbye.